so last week I worked on adding my printer to my computer. I added the driver and I printed my girlfriend's resume. Um, I'm gonna, gonna do a thing. I, um, I need to print my girlfriend's resume and so I have to add a printer. I did that by going to settings. It says all settings up here. I went to settings. And um, after I went to settings, I uh, went to printers, and it said add a printer to get started. So I hit the add a printer button, and then it scanned for all available printers. Mine showed up on the available network printers. So I selected it, and I clicked next. Now it says something about um location or something i think this is the driver that it wants to install add printer i don't care what it's called all right there we go cool printer added pretty convenient and pretty easy compared to windows um i also worked on getting my hulu to play because i couldn't get the flash player to work so i downloaded google chrome and like the actual Google Chrome instead of Chromium and that's working now so that's pretty cool this week we're gonna work on getting Windows games to work on Linux alright so today we're just gonna focus on Windows software now we were gonna go with just regular wine and for someone like me like if I just go I can just click uh, open with the wine installer but there's a lot of complicated stuff that goes on along with that and it's not something that someone like you'd want to mess with so no. let's just focus on getting Steam working Okay. And um, I never really opened Wine because I didn't, I don't know, it seemed really complicated. So this is super convenient. I um, looked at it a little bit and I, I'm i pretty, in, I'm uh, impressed. Yeah, with... so so the way we can get Steam working is, uh, yeah. the way you get most software working. So before we do Steam, yeah, because, let's... because, I mean, d Steam already has the Linux, uh, you can already get it on Linux, so why? Yeah, well... Put it this way, there are, like if we open your Steam library, yeah, there's tons of games, like myself, I have 102 games ported for Linux, and I have 176 games overall, and then if I want to play them on Linux, I can do that, because... And like, I'm literally mostly doing this for The Sims, and so right. it's just... And, um, but before we do that, let's think of like a Windows program, just so that we can, so I can show you... Okay, um, a Windows program that you, we can't run on Linux. Uh, just a simple program, popular program. I don't know, iTunes or something. I, I mean, sure. I don't really use iTunes. Um, well, that's what I mean. Like, I can't think of. I don't really use Windows programs. Yeah, I, I haven't. Um, what about just like Paint? Paint. Oh, there you it is. Get Office working if you want it. Wow. But Libre But I mean, we have. Better, so. Yeah, I was gonna say I have Libre Office. But on. Steam, it's the same thing. It's like you just search for Steam. Okay. And uh, what's cool about Crossover is not only can you search for Steam itself, but you can search for individual Steam games through Crossover, which will install it into the same, what they're called, bottles. Okay. And um, that will install, like, pro well, well, I'll show you, but... Is it called Wine because you make bottles of programs? Is it, like... No, what? it's bottles is just what Crossover uses, like, um... Like, as you can see, all this stuff goes through. Creating the Steam bottle. What... Is Wine an acronym, then? Yeah, wine stands for wine is not an emulator, because it's not an emulator. Yeah, okay, wait, so wine is an acronym, and wine is in the acronym. Yes. like the, That's really lazy. Like G, Well, it's it's a it's a subversive acronym, mm, okay. like the GNU. You know what GNU yeah. is? GNU stands for GNU's not Unix. <laughs> so it's infinitely regressive GNU, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Same it's, thing. It's just funny to me, like, you... I don't know why. <laughs> uh, username. Oh, yeah. John Cena! Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um... It's one of my favorite memes. It's an old meme, but it checks out. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Shout Steam, out to Jack's Steam, films. Steam, Steam works... Uh, Oh yeah, look at that. Much better than Origin would ever work on this. Well, that's because Origin is EA well, and well, Steam Well, it's because is... Valve doesn't care oh. if you download their Windows programs on a different platform. <laughs> I mean, I don't really understand why EA cares. Like, I paid for them. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, and look, Windows seems. Oh, look at that! It's already wow! It's already working. I don't think you. Yeah. And if I go graphics, we have a little and, virtual desktop. And uh, your desktop is 1920 by 1080. And then we just do apply there, and then we go here because this should be Windows 7 for compatibility reasons. Right. Absolutely. And um. <laughs> so now it just emulates a Windows desktop. So, but the good thing about this is you have a separate layer. So if the Windows game tries to change your display size or, or color, it'll only do it in and this version. And if and it'll force the mouse to stay in the Windows desktop. So like you know, if you play a game, sometimes they leave the screen. Well, this is like locked into a screen. Wow, that's really cool. It's downloading. <laughs> 